How to seduce her over dinner. Hello, and welcome to Video Jug. Ah, the flicker of candlelight dancing in her eyes. The romantic music, the cozy, intimate setting. Everything set up. And the mission is to get into her pants by pudding. Step 1. Your mission explained. Bad news, fella. All the literature is against you. The idea of putting out on the first night is sacrilegious to the modern girl. You need to undo years of programming that men are only after one thing. To have any hope of pulling off a mission that gets you from this to this, you need to give off an intoxicating mix of romance, charm and raw shagability so that she forgets all her training and her chastity belt ends up round her ankles. Step 2. Conversation. Listen with interest to everything she says. Try and avoid mind drift, where you start thinking about something else and don't really pay attention. Try active listening. Laugh, nod, mirror her actions and only interrupt to encourage her and demand more detail. She will feel like a wonderful conversationalist and that you really connect. When she is all talked out, play on the charm with a trowel but do it cleverly. Don't go for extravagant cliché compliments about the way she looks. Tell her something she hasn't heard before. If you're going to use physical compliments, make them funny or unusual. Maybe you like her thumbs or her asymmetric hairstyle. Don't mention parts of the body that may cause offence or she may have a complex about. Step 3. Physical contact. Restaurants make it difficult to get up close and personal by positioning chairs opposite each other to get as many diners in as possible. But break out of the seating plan and gradually move your chair around the table. If you're not getting knocked back yet, instigate a bit of physical contact by playing footsie. If this is getting a positive response, try touching her hand by accidentally going for the wrong glass. If she looks like the kind of girl who enjoys her food, ask her if she wants to try yours. It'll help here if you've ordered food that melts, is an aphrodisiac or contains chocolate. Step 4. Close the deal. OK, it's going well. You may decide that you both have the potential for a grown-up relationship, in which case you may want to rethink the whole pants by pudding mission as a silly, disrespectful idea. But if you feel that this might only be a brief encounter, now's the time to act decisively. Out of nowhere, ask for sex. Obviously not in those words. You can wonder whether she'd like to come back for coffee, or whether she'd like to come back and play chess, or see your collection of matchboxes. Anything that puts you and her together, alone, is promising. However, don't assume anything. If she's distracted by her phone or goes to the loo a lot, she may be looking for escape routes. Don't hassle her for more dates or try and convince her to come back to yours if she's hesitant. If, however, she's giving you the green light, eat your dessert, pay the bill and don't ruin it by going home on the bus. Pay out for a taxi because she's worth it. Done.